here with Dave Perner, who uh, is making your, your second appearance at Joey's Song. This is you that is last correct. Year. Mm-hmm. How did you get involved with Joey's Song? Well, I guess I've been friends with Butch Vig for as long as I can remember. He produced one of my records, and I kind of know a lot of Madison people. My mother and father met at Madison, and a lot of my friends from high school went to Madison. So he's been a presence in my life for for long enough for me to go, hell yeah, man, I want to come and play with all these people because it's, it's fun. He, it's a good cause. He produced While Your Dim Lights Shine. Was that? Did you seek him out for that, or was that the record company suggesting to, to use Butch? Well, we... See, it was actually kind of funny because we were coming off of a record that we actually sold some copies of, and they were like, well, you can work with whoever you want and I said well okay we're gonna go down to Madison and hang out with Butch and see if he wants to produce the record and we were on stage not just playing music together not that long after we got oh wait he came to Minneapolis anyways we were on stage and it felt great and that's how we decided to proceed you released, uh, re-released uh, the, I uh, released for the first time the Soul Asylum Unplugged, MTV Unplugged last yes. year. Was that something that the fans had been requesting for for some time? Well, I mean, it was never released. So yeah. I don't, oh, speak of the devil. Uh, how do you know Butch? I'm doing an interview. Oh, uh, don't be a vibe crusher. Uh, look, look at these guys. It's like a greatest hits. <laughs> Come on, man. I got some <laughs> questions for you. Hold on. I have to pee really bad. Okay. Okay, well, so now I'm off topic, but it was something that was never released, and yeah. I decided to release it. And, yes, I think we put it out on Record Store Day. I th- I th- and then they're re-releasing it again. I don't understand how it all works, but it came out pretty good, I think. And I hope. Were you... Like you were born in Green Bay, Wisconsin? No, but no, that's what my um, Wikipedia page yeah. says. And I just thought it was funny enough to not fix. Just to kind of show people how inaccurate Wikipedia can be. There's a big Packer game on Sunday. Are you a fan of Packers? Yeah, my mom's from Green Bay. And my brother's a Vikings fan, so <laughs> that... I just get a lot of satisfaction out of rooting for the Packers in Minnesota. It really pisses people off, but that makes it more fun. Yeah. Well, Soul Asylum has been around for so long, and your fans are really passionate. How do you keep like the soul of the band alive? How, how have you kept it alive for for this long? You still play with energy and really passion. Got me on that one. I, I guess you just you just continue on, and then and and. and the people that are bitching and moaning and complaining all the time fall by the wayside, and that's a good thing. Something like that. You persevere with patience and persistence, and you work with quality people like Botchwig. <laughs> Sorry. I heard he's pretty. We used to call him that, just, I don't know why. Botchwig. I think we spent a lot of time in Germany at the time. You also released a book of all your lyrics, which seems to be kind of a personal thing to do. Do you have a a favorite song of yours, lyrically, that you've written? Oh, of course. uh, Let's All Kill Each Other is a pretty good one. And... uh, And and Cage Drat, that's a pretty good one. Yes, it's my favorite. It's my favorite solo song. So. There you go. Lead off track on Let Your Dim Light Shine. There you go. I think it freaked out the record company, but it's fucking bitching. It's a great song. We try. And we I'm try really hard. To hear you play. I want to destroy you. Oh, yeah. Are we doing that tomorrow? You're doing it tomorrow, man. Yeah, it works. It's we just. Be uh, killer. We just played it with um, Tommy Stinson from The Replacements just the other day. Didn't Ryan? That's a good song. Robin Hitchcock. I think just, Ryan Smith did a cover of that recently, didn't he? 
you are correct nice <laughs> so he started covering it and i'm like oh we all like it and so we sing it together you nice. know so besides that are there any surprises tomorrow tomorrow during the actual show i'm not in charge of surprises <laughs> Well, the show's sold out tomorrow, but they're doing it. So tomorrow's a, they're live streaming it. Uh-huh. So if people did not get a ticket yet, they can purchase the live stream mm. and watch it tomorrow. Well, you know what the the last thing you want to hear when you're blowing Santa Claus is? What? I'm not Santa Claus. <laughs>